Every day in BC, three to four people die from an overdose. I have had friends, have family members lose their life to the opioid crisis and overdose. And it's something that affects not only that person, but it, it affects um, everybody involved with that person, their family, their friends, um, co-workers, their teammates. Using illegal drugs today is toxic. And by taking these drugs, it can have consequences that you can't recover from. Uh, a couple years ago, uh, a, a longtime friend of mine died of an, of an overdose. Um, she, was, she was using with, with a group of people and she, she went into overdose. And um, instead of them um, you know, calling 911 right away, they panicked. It's, you know, she's gone. And, you know, a simple phone call could have, could have saved their life. Even if there's drugs around, the Good Samaritan laws are here to protect you. And it's not a crime to help someone. There's a kit that everyone should have if they're using drugs called naloxone, better known as Narcan. It's a kit that reverses the effects of an overdose. If you choose to use, try not to use by yourself. This is something that you should definitely have with you at all times, and it could save your life. I think people suffer in silence because they're afraid. They're, they're embarrassed. Um, they think that they're, you know, there's a stigma behind it. You can call, you can text, send an email. I, th I think it's just important to, to take that first step in, in reaching out to someone you know. Um, no matter who it is, just, just let them know that, you, that you're struggling and that you wanna, you wanna get help. No one should be left to suffer in silence. No one should die from shame. We can all be a part of the solution.